All right, uh, we're going to talk about how to do a couple things in SketchUp for schools, which is different than some of the tutorials and videos we watch aren't using web-based SketchUp. They're using a desktop-based SketchUp program. Now, the usability, usability, the, what you, the functionality of both is pretty similar for everything we're doing. But I just want to show you a couple of things that you can do. So this is actually a file I'm working on, I think. Oh, no, this must be. I'm not sure what this is. But normally, when you guys um, go to start a new file, we're going to create new, start modeling. So I wanted to go back to what it does when... it's normal all right this is what it looks like but we're going to be doing stuff with plan views with floor plans and extruding that up and to do that there's a few things you're going to want to know how to do one is to get into plan view so if you come over here to this toolbar every time you click one of these settings they turn blue and if they're blue then they stay in your handy dandy little sidebar there even if you hide it you reopen it all three of those things are there until you turn them off by exiting out. So now there's only two blue things, only one blue thing. And what you're going to do is come over here to the action camera thing. And if you hover over this one and then hit parallel projection, you will get a plan view. And what a plan view is, you're looking at it top down, two dimensionally. That's how you're looking at it. Um, notice how in this one, there's a blue axis. Okay. Showing that we're still kind of 3d ish, but when we hit parallel projection, we're put into 2d and that's handy when you're dealing with some starting with a floor plan or you want to start in 2d. So that's one thing. The other thing I'm going to show you real quick is if you want to get into x-ray mode, so you're drawing stuff on top of other stuff and you want to be able to see through it. It's a little different than uh, this desktop version. What you have to do is come over here to your Styles tab and click Styles. And in the Styles tab, you can go to Assorted Styles. In these ones, if you actually hover over, it'll tell you what type of style. So whether it's x-ray mode or any of these styles that you want to turn on or play with even will work. Um, you got color sets. And then we've got default styles. Here you can see wireframe, hidden line. Here's our x-ray. So you can turn that on. Now you see our colors look more like a plan. So those are the two things I wanted to show you. Quick review, your views tab. Okay, in your views tab, you can, oh, which is down here now, <clears throat> set it to this middle icon as well as make sure you're in parallel projection, not perspective. And then for altering your styles, you click your styles tab. You got default styles, color sets, and assorted styles. But <clears throat> most of the settings you will, will want are in default styles. So that's SketchUp for Web. A couple of pointers there where things are at.